Hi friends, today in this video I should share with you all a very important aspect of prescribing Thuja Occidentalis. I shall start by discussing with you all a case of ADHD in a boy of 8 years that I happened to see in March 2018. The most characteristic aspect of this case was the unwillingness of the boy to play any outdoor sport as he was always afraid that he might hurt himself. So this boy only played indoor games and avoided going to parks with his friends. Considering this peculiar symptom, I prescribed Thucha 200 a single dose and did not have to repeat it again. The concept that I shall be touching upon in this video is the fragility or the brittleness of Thuja. The feeling of being fragile or weak is a typical manifestation of the psychotic miasm and also a characteristic symptom of Thuja. Thuja has an inner feeling of being inadequate, of being weak and it tries various means to conceal this inner feeling of being brittle. The fragility makes them vulnerable to the slightest changes in the diet and regime. They are overly cautious and try to safeguard themselves from any unforeseen circumstance. On the emotional sphere, this Fragility manifests as a fear of losing their loved ones and a fear of losing the reputation in society. They portray themselves as very righteous individuals and behave in a politically correct and socially acceptable manner. They have a fear of falling from the pedestal which they have managed to climb by mean of the, means of this pretentious behavior. And this is manifested in the dreams of Thuja, dreams of falling from a height. Thuja is extremely dogmatic because it wants to be socially acceptable and it is one of the leading remedies for religious fanatics who portray themselves as the most moralistic individuals. They have a tendency of suppressing their inner desires and can suffer from suppressed anger and undemonstrated grief. There may be a history of abuse, incest, maltreatment in their childhood. And the reaction of Thuja is mostly of withdrawal, escapism and they rarely fight the situation in which they are. Even the presence of the excessive body hair and the excessive fat adds to the extra protection that Thuja needs in order to safeguard itself from the fragility. Also the aversion to approach. We see a keynote in Allen's which says insane women will not be approached. This is not the fear of approach because of physical soreness of Arnica. This is because of a mental fragility. So, the initiation, progression as well as the termination of Thuja and its pathologies shows the fragility of Thuja. I hope I have been able to put my point very clearly and this video helps you in some present or future case of yours. Thank you. Have a nice day.